Hey all, it's Andy from Solar Reviews here and today I'm going to do our 2021 expert review for Panasonic solar panels. Now lots happened in the last 12 months with Panasonic solar panels. They've actually announced that they're no longer going to make solar panels after 2023. And so obviously that's something we've had to consider. For those of you who have been around the solar industry a while or maybe have been looking in for solar for a long time, Panasonic is one of the bellwether brands, you know, along with SunPower and LG uh, and a few other that you would have heard about and you know over um, over the years um, so when we rank a panel we look at a number of factors and we score the brand out of 50 and what we're aiming to do really is to give you all the information that really we feel like consumer reviews don't really do a good job of giving you in relation to a, a brand. So it's all the technical stuff at the back end that consumer reviews can't see. And also we dig into the financials of the company quite a lot. But the first category we score under is module quality. Now Panasonic have excellent module quality. If you don't know the history, what happened 10 or more years ago is Panasonic bought out Sanyo's uh, solar uh, cell manufacturing technology, which is uh, what's called HIT cells or HIT, which is heterojunction uh, solar cells. And what they are is they're a monocrystalline solar cell, <coughs> which is sandwiched between layers of amorphous silicon solar cells. Now the reason they do that is the amorphous silicon and the monocrystalline silicon, they will pick up and create energy out of slightly different waveforms of light. And so when you put those two things together, overall, you get a, a slightly more efficient cell than if you just have the monocrystalline uh, cell on its own, which is what the standard sort of solar panels do. So the two companies in the world that really use HIT technology the most are Panasonic um, and another company called Rex Solar, which uh, we will also talk about um, in a review because they're also in our top 10 um, list of solar panel brands. So, but in terms of module quality, we look at efficiency and temperature coefficient. For efficiency, Panasonic's best module, 21.7%, uh, is a very good module. It's slightly below SunPower and LG that are both in the 22s, but it's very, very close uh, for efficiency. In terms of the temperature coefficient, this is where the HIT cells have some real advantages. The temperature coefficient of the HIT Panasonic cells and modules is 0.26%, which is actually the market leader. And it's perhaps no coincidence that the other market leader on temperature coefficient is Rex Solar, who also use HIT cells. So basically, what that means is as temperature goes up, these things don't derate in power output as quickly as other brands do when the when they um, when the temperature goes up. So I know it sounds strange for those not familiar with solar, this concept that solar panels can produce less power when it's hotter, but they like the irradiation in sunlight, but not the heat. Um, so that's why there's this derating factor, but in term, and you want your temperature coefficient to be as low as possible. And the Panasonic cells uh, and the Rex cells are the two market leaders. Having said that, sun power at 0.27 is only 0.01 of a percent Oh, sorry, 0.1 of a percent less. So it's very, very close with SunPower. Uh, but credit where credit's due, they they are slightly better than anything else in terms of temperature coefficient. Now the big category this year, which has changed for Panasonic, is financial visibility and bankability. We score 10 points for that. The reason that the, we've reduced the ranking for financial visibility and strength is for two reasons. And, and it may seem strange off the bat that we're doing this because everybody's heard of Panasonic. They're listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. They're one of the biggest companies in the world. I think they have revenues, you know, in the order of 60 odd billion dollars a year and profits in the billions of dollars, US dollars a year. So, you know, very, very large company, but there's a couple of issues. One is there's no separate reporting of the financials just for their solar division. So we've got no idea if Panasonic's solar division actually makes any money or not. 
And given that they announced last year that they're going to stop manufacturing solar panels, we suggest perhaps it doesn't. Um, the second reason that that um, financial strength and visibility uh, ranking has dropped to five out of 10 this year is because we simply don't know what's going to happen post 23. Is there even going to be a brand of Panasonic solar panels? They've certainly said they're not going to manufacture them and the, the, the announcement suggests that you know they'll look at third party manufacturers but we don't know yet who those 30 third party manufacturers are going to be whether they're going to be manufacturing cells using the third party manufacturers technology or whether they're going to be manufacturing panels that use the Panasonic HRT cells so there's a lot of uncertainty about that and because of that that financial visibility rating has fallen this year USA investment um, three out of five they don't manufacture in the US. Um, they were involved in some plans for a solar panel manufacturing uh, uh, plant in upstate New York um, with Tesla that uh, didn't end up going ahead. Um, so the USA investment, we scored them three out of five. Again, we're not talking about Panasonic as a whole group, we're just talking about the solar division. So that, you know, that probably guides that ranking. In terms of value, value is the biggest single criteria in our ranking system. And in terms of value, we scored Panasonic eight out of 15. So it's not, you know, they're not the absolute most expensive panels, but they still are significantly more expensive at the wholesale level. So at the wholesale level, you're probably talking in a range of 70 to 90, 90 cents, whereas there are some tier one Chinese solar panels that you can buy for around that, you know, 40 to 50 cent. Uh, cents a mark. So that's a substantial difference at the wholesale level and that gets reflected in the retail uh, prices you pay for systems that use those panels. Um, in terms of dealer network, we scored them four out of five. They have a very good dealer network because they have been a bellwether of the industry for so long. Um, and Panasonic are a very good company. They don't put their name to anything unless it is of good quality. And that's the same if you buy a Panasonic TV or any anything else Panasonic. They are a very, very high quality electronics manufacturer. So um, their dealer um, network is you know has a lot of good local solar companies around the country that have been around a long time many of them also sell other brands they also might sell SunPower or lg or trina or longy or canadian or something like that uh, panels but they do have a good dealer dealer network perhaps not as deep as say lg but still significant in terms of warranty, we've actually scored them five out of five. And actually on the warranty front, they're actually the number one company in terms of warranty. Um, there, there's two reasons for that. There's, solar panel warranties are a bit weird in that there's two types of warranty they give you on the panel. They give you a product warranty, which is basically a warranty that the panel won't fall apart. Um, but then separately they give you a power output warranty. Now in relation to the product warranty, the, you know, the warranty that the panel will you know, effectively not fall apart, they, their warranty is 25 years where the standard of the industry is 10 to 12 years. So they have a very long product warranty. But one thing I've always found weird about solar warranties is that typically the product warranty was 10 years and the power output warranty was 25 years and it's like well how is the panel going to still produce power if it falls apart so I've never really understood <laughs> why there, there is the difference um, but nonetheless there is um, one is to do with structural integrity one is to do with electrical output so um, Panasonic are the leader in terms of product warranty at 25 years. In terms of power output, they're also a leader. So what Panasonic guarantee that even after 25 years, your panel will still produce 94% of the rated power that it produced day one when you got it. That's really, really high. The average in the industry, you know, even amongst the tier one panels is probably more like 84 to 87%. So it is a really, really high warranty. Um, overall for 2021, 
Panasonic scored 34 out of 50. It puts us in the very good category. Obviously, the the uncertain future about what they're going to do in terms of manufacturing in the future um, and their relative value really were the two big things that cost them most of their points. Other than that, a very good panel, very good company. Um, overall, they ranked 10th on our list, so they made the top 10, but that was down from the top three last year. Hope that helps you uh, if you're looking at Panasonic or indeed other um, competing brands. If you want to get a online estimate of the cost and savings going solar on your specific home, there's a free open calculator you can use on our site. We'll link it in the description of the video. It's a great, really accurate calculator. It takes half a minute or so to run because it actually does a lot of data work in the back end to work out your electricity usage profile and things just from the, the dollar value of your bill. Uh, but it gives you a really accurate estimate of cost, savings, how many panels you'll need, payback period, what your bill's likely to look like after solar, and it's really, really accurate. It even takes into account time of use billing where that exists and things like that. So um, jump on there and have a look. That'll sort of allow you to know what the economics will be for your home and then you can decide if you want to go through and get solar quotes from local dealers. That's all for now. Have a great day. See you next time.